Evan Drellick of NBC Sports Boston, would you like to remember some guys? I'm not gonna remember many, but I would love to try. Today, our selection is 1992 Topps Major League Baseball cards. Can we pause and this this is gonna be my best moment. You know who's on the cover of this? Uh, that's Andy Hawkins. Wrong. No, it's not. Who is it? <laughs> it's John Farrell, ex-manager of the Boston Red Sox. Holy. See, yeah. This is why I shouldn't get the things late. That's it. That's had it. Time I'm out. It. I'm done. Goodbye. This it is, is all John I'm Farrell. Get. It's handsome John Farrell. Uh, I did ask on Twitter already, though, so I did kind of cheat. <laughs> Moving on, it's Leo Gomez. I know Carlos Gomez. I know Leo DeRocher. I do not know Leo Gomez. He was of that generation of... The Orioles were just producing, like, pudgy guys for most of the 80s Look and 90s. Look at these glasses. Oh, I love guys play? who actually wore real glasses and didn't have them fall off. It's like before they made rec specs. Oh, I like them. They're like faintly tactical. This is like <laughs> the version of the glasses that John Goodman wore in The Big Lebowski. This is Sean Dunstan. Either 99 or 2000 Mets acquisition, mid-season, yeah. I believe. Mm -hmm. Kind he, of utility infield type. One of the very few major leaguers from New York City. I confirmed Adam that Adovino. in the back. Adam Adovino. Yeah. Played uh, against him in high school. Did you really? Yeah. You Brooklyn kid, that. and Pedro Alvarez. One game against Pedro Alvarez. How did it go? Uh, he made a fantastic play, I grounded out back to the mound. Nice, yep. cool. That's probably something that both of you guys remember very well. Yep. Oh boy, pitch face. Larry Anderson. Larry Anderson? It's like the ball is being physically torn from his hand, and he's like, oh no. How old is he there? Uh, 61. Looks like a cranky old man. Yeah, he was. Larry Anderson is the one that was traded for Jeff Bagwell, is that right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. That's exactly correct. I've heard that trade defended, that at the time it wasn't... Uh, Pitched it was, great for the Red Sox. Right, he did what he was supposed to do. So he was pitching very well for the Astros, and then he went to the Red Sox and was lights yeah. out. Yeah. And Jeff Bagwell was never heard from again. No, yeah. good trade. I think it was fun. We both agree, Larry Anderson is better than Jeff Bagwell. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> it's Scott Scudder. Whoa, look at the face. Yeah. Look at the hat. Look at the eyebrows. Is that a mullet? It's a mullet and a mesh hat. <laughs> The, I, the natural brows are actually very, that's, I can't say a thing about that. I'm not, I don't have the high ground there. Yeah, but yours are at least uh, kind of uh, Thanks for somewhat noticing. properly manicured, whereas those somewhat. are just going up into the hat. When the when the brim is over the eyebrow, that's the problem with me <laughs> wearing hats. I can't do it, and he shouldn't either. He's, showing, he's showing you how, this is one way to it do like it. looks like a villain. The other thing that was great about Topps cards of this era is that they were blurry as shit, because they would just send one guy to spring training and he would take all the photos but his on eyebrows, a bad day. His eyebrows are super dark. It the eyebrows like seem to be bothering the you. The mullet is blonde, and he just looks vicious and mean and unhappy. And I would be too with those eyebrows. Yeah, he wasn't that great a pitcher. 51 strikeouts, What year did he play walks. to? Does it tell you what year? This was 91. Uh, <laughs> It does not tell you, they didn't have the technology at the time to know when the players' careers would end. Yep. That was, you had to wait for the 98 set uh, for the precog uh, stuff. This guy, Mark McGuire. So this is a guy, uh, the reason I'm here is because of him. I am not a baseball fan if he didn't use his Andro. Fair so I, oh, I, thank you, Mark, I guess, yeah. right? Thank you, Bud Selig. Cheating's okay sometimes. Oh, that's been staffer Tim Burke. Tim, before he became a guy that sits in a room with 45 different screens going, actually had a pretty solid career as a middle and late relief option in the National League East. This is back when relief pitchers used to throw a lot of innings, like 85 or 100 innings. When men were men. Yeah, and had haircuts like this. Craig Graybeck, did do anything for you? Doug Graybeck, um, not Craig Graybeck, no. You can see here, he Kyle loved, Drabeck. loved to stretch. Is he short? He's 5'7". Five seven. You could tell just because he's he's long waisted. He just doesn't. Yeah, I just like I mean that that jersey's the, the logo is here, right? Yeah. It it you've got two inches to the belt. Hit two eight. Oh, slug four sixty. Very limited. Who's, uh, who's he kidding? Yeah. Ugh. Get out of here, Craig Graybeck. It's Goose Gossage, the angriest veteran reliever that there ever was. What's amazing is that he looked like this when he was like twenty five years old too. His his commentary in recent times. I, he doesn't like. Uh, Anybody or anything no. about the modern day game? Right? Yeah, I think he, he wants want, it all they, to revert. They whine too much. They cheat. Yes, uh, cheating's good. Nobody grows this mustache anymore. Did you know he played in Japan? I did not. Yeah, and then he came back. 1990. The baseball reference listing here says it. I would love to know what this asshole thought of Japanese culture and tradition. <laughs> Clearly so much that he decided he had to go back all the way to Dallas and Arlington, Texas. That's what it's about. Can't even get decent fried chicken over there. And they're like, nah, it's really good, Goose. And he's like, I, I don't know, I didn't try it. He, he likes the chirashi and the uh, yeah. unagi roll. He looks like a guy that, like, 
thinks that he should be on Sons of Anarchy, but really just likes watching Sons of Anarchy. Goose Gossage. He's a turd. <laughs> you remember this guy? Uh, yeah, Ricky. Um, also a Met. Wonderful 99 Met. He that's, was, everything yes. is a Met for me. Yeah. That's, that's all. I cover the Red Sox now, whatever. But. He's like, whatever. He's one of the coolest players that's played during our lifetimes, probably. But I remember him referring to himself in the third person a lot better than I remember him being cool. There is a Marty Noble column describing every bit of his physique with his shirt off guns, pipes, pecs. Oh, uh, yeah. It's. Uh, is it safe for work? I think we get. Deep Googling a little bit of the Tor dark web stuff, yeah. you can find it. Just it's look there. up a uh, Marty Noble upper body. <laughs> Last card. You ready? I'm, uh, yeah. I can't do any worse. Jeff Treadway. No. Mm -mm. Was he any good? No. Uh, he wasn't bad. Um, but he hit 320 this year. I believe he works for Scott Boris now, too, if I'm right. Oh, he, who doesn't? Yeah. I, I, I work for Scott Boris. We all Boris. sort of do. I mean, I, I'm a baseball media member. I, it's like, part of the job description. He's technically all of our dads. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, Pops. <laughs> Evan, how did you feel about the remembering experience? I, you know, I think there's like three to four decent uh, uh, card memories there. I think yeah. there, there were some things that were prompted, some childhood memories that I probably should explore further. Yeah. On a couch setting. I feel um, like this is a productive session. Yeah. Unfortunately, our time's up and we have to end. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Thanks.